My recommendation is to try to avoid large gatherings of people. Thanksgiving is coming up and you know every year we like to get together with a lot of family as well, 20, 30 people oftentimes. Um, and we're not doing it this year. Uh, that's sad and unfortunate, but it's also safe, right? Uh, when you have a 90-year-old grandmother uh, who's going to be in attendance, you have to be conscious about these kinds of get-togethers can really serve as a place for outbreaks to occur, and they have. It's clearly been the case. I would recommend not traveling at all right now. Um, even within the state, uh, from one town to another, uh, can be somewhat risky at this point. Um, and by the time Thanksgiving gets here, the risk is going to be even higher. And by the time Christmas or New Year's gets here, it's going to be even higher. Uh, so please take that into account. Shopping online. Uh, is about as safe as you can get. If you go to a store, uh, you know, uh, be thoughtful about, again, wearing the mask, right? Trying to maintain safe distances from others. Uh, and go into the store kind of having a sense of why you're there and what you're looking for and what you need to get, right? So you go in, you get what you get, and then you leave. Try not to linger. So everybody should be aware of how they're feeling, uh, that's for sure, because if you start to experience symptoms, regardless of where you've been or who you've been around, then you should get tested, okay? If you know that one of those people that you were in touch with has developed symptoms or been tested, then yes, you should also be conscious of how you're feeling. Because remember, after you've been around somebody with COVID, uh, on average, it takes about four or five days before you might develop symptoms. But for some people, that's farther out, even closer to 12 to 14 days. And so for a two-week span of time, you have to be very conscious about how you yourself may be feeling. And be conscious about who you are spending some of your time around, so that if you do develop symptoms, you're not necessarily spreading it to somebody else.